So what did we see yesterday? We see that Martha is telling Jesus, I know I'll see him again at the resurrection at the last day. Jesus doesn't correct her. What does that do for the, your faith and what you've been taught? Jesus didn't tell her something contrary. Her thinking was accurate because Jesus could not come into agreement with the lie. Jesus was perfect. Jesus was the, was the son of God. He didn't correct her. So what does that make you think about your faith and what you've been taught? Jesus did not correct her. She was thinking correctly. He will rise again at the resurrection at the last day. I don't know what that does to your faith and what you've been taught, but it proves to me that all of the things that I was virtually taught from the church, all of it is a lie. Because the resurrection is at the last day. Now, I've talked about that before, but I want to go on here to something else in this conversation between Martha and Jesus. So remember, she says, but even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Martha is saying to Jesus, if you ask it of God, he will give it to you. What does that do to your faith and what you believe? Do you hear what Martha said to Jesus? Do you hear what I'm repeating to you? Whatever you, Jesus, ask of God, God will give to you, Jesus. What does that do for your faith with what you've been taught about the Trinity? Whatever you, Jesus, ask of God, your Father, God will give to you. And then Jesus says this when we go into, which is why I wanted you to read all of John 11, verses 1 through 45. It says this. Then they took away the stone from the place where the bot, where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And I know that you always hear me. But because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Lazarus is raised. Who is Jesus talking to? Jesus is talking to his father. He says, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. He says, but I know that you always hear me. But because the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. God sent Jesus. Jesus is talking to his dad here. If Jesus and God are the same, why does Jesus have to have this conversation to himself? Is Jesus speaking hypothetically like third person to himself? Does this make any sense to you? Does this make any sense to you? He says that they may believe that you sent me, that God sent Jesus. All of these people with Jesus here, when Lazarus is resurrected so that they can believe that God sent his son, Jesus. I know I've talked about this before, but when you look at this, how can you believe what the church is lying to you about, about the Trinity? Jesus is talking to his dad here. They're not the same. I know I've talked about this before. Believe me, this has got me thrown out of the church. This is I've got people that won't speak to me. How do you answer this? If you are a Trinitarian, how do you answer that? Is Jesus talking to the Father through the third person, talking about himself? That would make Jesus sound crazy. Jesus says, Father, I thank you. If Jesus is the Father, is he thanking himself? Why does, why does Martha have to say, whatever you ask of God, God will give you? This makes no sense in a Trinitarian worldview, this passage, because the Trinity itself doesn't make sense, but it says, whatever you ask of God, and people, there are a whole bunch of passages like this, and I know people are going to comment, whatever, that's fine. I'm so over that. Please comment. Answer me this question. If you are a Trinitarian, Father, I thank you. If Jesus is God, is Jesus talking to another portion of himself? Because it makes Jesus sound like a lunatic. And there are lots of examples in scripture like this. So if you are a Trinitarian, answer this question. Who is Jesus talking to? If he and, if he and the Father are the same. See, you've just been lied to because they don't read the Bible. 
Armor Up We Ride at Dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.